for today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to get out and uh, walk along this trail very near to where I live and share a little bit about my perspective and approach to taking photos in places where there's not necessarily, obviously, a lot of photos. So one of the first things I do when approaching a situation like this is evaluate the light. It's a overcast day, cloud peeking, sun peeking through a little bit. So the light is changing. So as I set up my camera for exposure, so I'll set up my ISO setting first and I'll choose a value that through my experience is good to give me a fast enough shutter speed that I can hand hold these photos with my lens, which has image stabilization. So I'm gonna go for ISO 800 to start. And then my shutter speed will be my variable and aperture will be to the lens's maximum value, which in this lens is F4. And I'll just change the shutter speed to change my exposure. In these photos, uh, the motion, which is what's controlled, the appearance of motion is controlled by shutter speed, is not an important element of the photos I intend to make. So I can vary that and not have it change the story I'm trying to tell. Onwards. One of the first things I do is, is look around in general and see what's happening. We don't have, at this point in mid-September in Sammamish, uh, much in the way of fall colors yet, autumn colors. There are some leaves on the ground though, which can make for interesting uh, stories in how they integrate with their, their, their surroundings. So I'm gonna take a picture of this leaf down here. This one's all about the textures. Another leaf on the ground. I like this one, the shape is pretty cool. You'll notice most of the time I'm zoomed out to 80 millimeters. That's just my preference. I like minimalist photos. I like to get close. And so for this, I'm just playing around with uh, compositions and how it works with the background. So I'm gonna switch lenses for the next little bit to the 70 to 300. Get me some more reach and see what we see. Hmm, this is kind of a neat little juxtaposition. Two different species of leaves. A little underexposed for mood. Back up a little bit more. Forget to move your feet. Doing a little four wheeling here to explore the moss on this tree.
I had expected there to be a little more color at this point, some more reds and oranges, but uh, it's been very, very dry so far in the Northwest. We're expected to get some more rain this week. So I imagine we'll have to keep coming back and checking this area amongst others for more color. And until then, it's a nice little walk. Quiet and not very far from home. So easy to get to. So for this photo, I'm exploring these little blossoms about to happen or maybe finishing. I'm not an expert on flower stuff. Um, some little details. Uh, that's one of my fun things I enjoy creating photos of. Lots of, lots of water drops on grass. That's always pretty fun. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed on walks like this is you have to keep going. Um, the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, those photos are warm ups. They may be awesome, but they help to get you going, to start seeing, to start exercising those visual muscles. So you have to keep going and not get discouraged if you don't see something in the first 10, 20 minutes. Slug. Step around the slug. What I'm noticing here is the backlight on the moss and the tree on the left it provides a frame. So zoom to 300 millimeters, you get something like that. Thistle flower. Yeah, we do with this. It's one of the reasons I love the 70 to 300. I don't have to get real close <laughs> to that spiky, spikiness. Come on, focus, there we go. But I can still create a pretty magnified photo of that thistle flower. Always take a couple, because I'm handheld at arm's length. We have image stabilization on, I'm at F5.6, ISO 500. Got a little multicolored one here with some backlight potential, maybe. One of the things I appreciate about the Northwest, among its many things, is the relatively low angle of the sun most of the year means you get really neat backlighting opportunities, which on a lot of nature things will add glow and texture and show details you don't normally see. One strategy I suggest for folks when they they walk around looking for and creating images is to turn around and 
walk back the way you came. It looks totally different from the other direction. You'll see it different perspectives. The light will be hitting it differently. And uh, you'll just see it from a different angle. So I'm gonna journey back towards the car for my mile and a half of drive home. And we'll see what else we see between here and the car. Banana slug. For scale. Well, there you have it, a walk in the woods in Sammamish, Washington, USA in late September, 2021. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video. Uh, I plan to do some more of them. I've got a couple other destinations in mind. Uh, thank you for your patience as I'm figuring out how to use my new uh, GoPro, the Hero 9, uh, as I figure out angles and attachments and uh, white balance and all that good stuff. So uh, thank you for your patience with that. Uh, if you have suggestion, tips, uh, comments on this video, uh, you know I would love to receive them in the comments section below. I'd be grateful to have a conversation with you. Um, hope this has been helpful in uh, thinking about ways you can create photos in places that are maybe less than um, photogenic at first glance and uh, know that there's always opportunities to create photos. I'm starting to realize that today and any day is a good day to go out and create photos and I hope the same is true for you. So if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button, the like button that uh, helps train the YouTube algorithm as to videos you think have quality and are worth seeing more of similar types. Also, if you would, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can see more contents like this or like things I've done in the past. So there will be more of the same and maybe some different stuff coming up soon. So I hope this video has been uh, helpful in some way to you, maybe entertaining, relaxing, or even inspirational for you to get out with your camera and go and create some images. So until we meet again, uh, stay safe, stay well, and have a great time creating photos. Bye for now. <laughs>